Saran Sastrikal and a very good evening to the second half of our program which is uh, with Manjeet Kaur every Monday at 9.40 p.m. You can see this show on Akal uh, Sky 843. Welcome. Today's evening topic which is of concern and I'm seeing younger and younger children even as young as 25 having gout problems, 45 having gout problems. They have serious problems uh, uh, in UK as well that can actually stop people from going to work. Anything in this world can be overcome with the uh, you know, power of will. Jedi, and nothing can be yours forever. Take note that this body is not yours forever. If you abuse it and you abuse it and you try to correct it, it will correct. But if you carry on abusing it time and time again with rich diet, bad thoughts, uh, lots of alcohol, rich lifestyle, you will actually have a very toxic body and eventually become a victim of many diseases and then you put it down to faith. Oh, I, I have bad luck. I am unwell. <laughs> Do not compare your body with your friend because your friend is eating his donor kebab at night, 12 o'clock. He's fine. You cannot be the same and your body's DNA structure and digestion and assimilation cannot be the same as the next person. So, you know, eating early, uh, eating the right food, chewing, having water in between the meals, reducing your teas and coffees and lots of other rich foods. Uh, you are the caretakers of our body. We keep saying that time and again um, and we learn from mistakes. Nobody is born with this. Uh, my idea through um, my uh, awareness through naturopathy, homeopathy, Ayurveda, keep seeing my number at the bottom for appointments is 07886880591. Anybody interested in NAS, you can check it out on my website, uh, which says vitality-rejuvenation.co.uk. It's one of the best scanning systems that I've embraced for the last 18 years plus. I think it was about July, and I think it's going to be 19th year. So one of the very first practitioners that started, and I embraced it so well. But uh, you know, balancing everything in life is very important. Um, if we make a hasty choice of food one day, as we discussed with my wonderful guest, I'll be introducing her back on the set, we seem to become accustomed to that and our taste buds seem to start dictating our mind and thought of pattern. Hello, well, uh, good evening, Helen. Good evening, hi. <laughs> mind and thought of pattern, amazing how this can distort our um, choice of food. Yes, absolutely. I think, you know, um, well, I'm finding, and as I know that you do as well, that people are, they get into a, a cycle of choosing the wrong foods that can make them feel very sluggish. Um, I think we said before, then they get in a downward spiral of putting weight on, feeling bloated, um, yep. you know, feeling generally un, unwell. Yes. Um, and they then, you know, they, they crave more of those, those foods. And, yes. they, you know, they're how they feel about themselves and then they affect other people around them. The moods change. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and we live in a very, we live in a, a, a very stressful society these days, you know, information overload. Yeah. Information is coming up in lots of different places. So it's actually, you know, do you think that people have got, are being, or should be educated in, in what type of foods to have? But quite often they're, you know, they're getting into this spiral and they can't get out of it. Yeah. So it, but everybody has a stress mechanism. I think if once we have gone an overload of stress where there's too much cortisol being made in the body, mm. which is your adrenaline, yeah. and there's good adrenaline that we get through exercise and power walking. Oh, folks, you have to do power walking. We must always mention that. <laughs> it's coming on to summer walk, 40 minutes. I knew I was coming here. Guess what? At 5 o'clock, I was at in Black Park, one of my most wonderful places. Fantastic. So I did my uh, 65 minute sprint and I was showered and I was here on time. Even after doing the uh, orders of the day, instructing the staff, still left in time. Timekeeping causes stress. Sh uh, obviously bad foods cause this stress. Don't you think IT and uh, this whole thing about being on Facebook and being by the, uh -huh. uh, uh, your laptop and your phone 24-7 is a big problem. It's a major problem for people, and it's what, we, it's what we, we're, um, we're referring to now, is people having too much blue light. Yes. And what we're finding, you know, people are, are not just um, it, watching a TV. And yes. it's like, you know, it's sort of, it, with all the liquid crystal TVs, now the LEDs, they're now sitting there in the evening with watching the TV, which is now sort of supersized and hangs on the wall. 46 inches, yeah. yes. Uh, you know, what used to be in Plenty the, of electromagnetic field disturbance. Absolutely. You know, years ago it used to be in the corner. It was a little box in the corner, wasn't it? Now it's actually spread across the wall. 
but they're not just sitting there with the with the TV in the evening. They're actually there with their we know with their eye. Well, sorry, their their phone or their tablet. And it's it's actually it is. And they also got the music in the ears, but the telly is also on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, we have become a, a society which is loaded with electromagnetic field disturbance. Mm. Is the first protocol, and I always look at that nuclear radiation. I look at heavy metals through nests. Yes. I look at lead. Tin, asbestos, mercury poisoning. Mm. I had a lady who had 15 fillings in her mouth, but has got the worst gum disease. So what do you do? You know, she said, oh, okay. Uh, quite obese, uh, wants to start her program of mercury detox, but it has to be done in a structured way. Mm. But wants to lose weight. But she said, yes. And her daughter, young daughter, has got thrush because sh the whole family is sugar loaded. Yeah. It is a huge problem, but you cannot lose. To put these pile of these calories means you haven't burned them. Yeah. And she said her mother used to say, oh, don't worry, you can eat something. You can eat some of these Indian sweets. Now we are in the heart of Southall. This street, which is, uh, you know, opposite the, the studio, they, 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 there's four sweet shops. Okay. So each milk cake has got four teaspoons of sugar. One uh, people will mostly eat, Indian people will have two or three pieces in the day and maybe on functions a bit more. So with tea, there's got to be something sweet. With tea, it's got to be a rusk. With tea, there's got to be cake dipping. If it's not cake dipping, it is the savouries which are fried. And those are super fried and carcinogenic. So I think we've become a, a grazing society with all the bad foods. But if you give a kid a raw carrot from day one, I don't think, Helen, a kid makes a choice to say, I want to have that particular cereal, which has got seven colors and chocolate loaded first thing in the morning. No, they, well, they, if you don't introduce those food, those type of foods, they wouldn't know about them anyway, would they? So why would they crave them? Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's actually about, you know, making sure that the, you know what you have in your home in your kitchen in your cupboards is good choices yeah you know and being prepared yeah. you know absolutely being prepared to make sure that you have food available when the kids were young we, i used to buy a box of carrots organic a box of apples and there was a farm that used to deliver mm -hmm. and uh, when my father-in-law came from kenya and he saw there was wastage when i was taking the carrot juice apple juice and or broccoli and asparagus and taking it to the kids bedroom at six o'clock knowing that they'll come down they will have it sleepy sleepy with the straw they'll still have another 20 minutes nap before they jump out but when they come down they're ready to have the fruit or nuts and seeds and rush off to school mm -hmm. and he complained to my parents that I'm wasting lots of vegetables because I'm pushing them through the juicer <laughs> they, they came at time I still carried on headstrong and my children now appreciate yeah. that mom what you gave us organic the immune system is high mm -hmm. they're six foot four um, mental, you know, um, there there's no stress mode in there because they're doing the same pattern of yeah. what I used to do. Mm. Um, my son has just returned from India and he was shocked the kind of food that's being eaten last night. He was driving from the way from Gatwick, and I, I just had to, happened to check is he safe and well? How was his trip? And he took three English children, uh, friends, from his office, and they were shocked to realize about poverty in India and about the food which is paneer which is another big problem in the Asian is uh, the milk that is uh, curdled up and then it's strained, you put citric acid, it's strained to cr make full fat cream, which then makes a block that is called paneer. And he said every restaurant, they had to make a special choice of food. And he said, I was the fussiest one telling, I want no paneer because the milk is so dangerous. Yeah. And they actually, the, the, the three guys actually cried when they saw poverty children picking up rice or a grain of something from the street. He said, I had to quieten them down and said, doesn't matter, Thomas, you're going to see a lot more in India. Because they had been to glorified holidays in Europe, they'd never seen an Eastern holiday in Far East to see what is really poverty yeah. at the doorstep. And that's what he made him realize. He said, about 30% of the food we buy at home is thrown in the bin. Yeah, which is all the croissants and the biscuits and the cakes because of the sell by date. So, you know, balancing this, everything in life is so important. Oversleeping, children are not exercising. So even if you have eaten bad food, for example, the night before, if you do not exercising and uh, you think it's just waking up at the last minute dot com, jump out of bed, grab a cup of coffee on the way because yeah. plenty of shops and stores have coffee, little mini oh, machines. You can get them anywhere, oh, those are little cassettes with some dark, tarry thing that when you put it in, the cassette breaks and the water pours into the cup and you've got a coffee. Yeah. 
I, I don't know what is con <laughs> I don't know what is in there, but mm. maintaining a perfect balance. First, we are saying through harmony and good choice of food, and mm. this course that you've done, uh, where you're doing a pre detox. That means it's interesting what you said. We are actually giving information to the mind to prepare it to get ready for change. Absolutely. And if you do a sudden changeover, people will do it for 30 days, mm. and then they'll get a full blown. What happened about Atkins diet? You know, it was all red meat. Oh, goodness, yeah. And I've had people who came, uh, have lost one to two stones, guess what, but they were constipated. Yeah. They weren't shifting their bowels for up to eight days because there was no vegetables. Mm. So let's go on to the bad foods. I'm going to let you to reason out for all the bad foods, which are the rich foods and the causes of urea. Well, the, the, I think the, you know, the big thing, um, I think we were discussing earlier, you know, the amount of red meat, yeah. especially in the, in the Western diet, you know, yes. and, um, you know, people are, it should be, a, you know, occasionally it should be a small portion, um, yeah. you know, by eliminating those type of foods, they actually, you will instantly feel so much better. Yes. Um, you know, liver hmm. is, is also... Um, organ meats is, all, is what yeah, all the All the organ meats, yeah. Prawns. Um, prawns, dried beans, peas. Yeah, peas, um, very good one you said. Mm. Let me let me blow up a little bit on that one. Uh, peas, uh, dry peas are eaten by the Gujarati community a lot. And Gujarati community are suffering a lot from urea and uric acid and raised potassium. Serious problems with those dried beans. Then going on to? Uh, mushrooms. Yes. Um, the people should be looking at how many of those they're, they're eating. Yeah, um, they are. The shiitake mushrooms are good. Yeah, but yeah. The, um, this is the, the regular ones you yeah. get in the supermarket. Yeah. We should be avoiding those as well. Yeah. 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 And then going on, obviously, down to sugars. Uh, yeah. Those are serious problems. Uh, we are also looking at uh, too much alcohol. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, it, gen genetic yeah. disposition, if somebody has got uh, uh, in the family, they should get more cautious about urea and uric acid mm. because they're carrying that. We all carry these genes from generation to generation. That doesn't mean we'll get a full-blown disease. Mm. That means we should be in the back of our mind saying, my forefathers had um, uh, diabetes, my parents had diabetes, I should be getting cautious. Yeah, yeah. Now it's coming to if a mother has cancer, then they're getting in the daughters to check and have mammograms in time. Mm -hmm. If the father has get has got a cardiac arrest, then they're calling the the family members, the younger yeah. members, the sons and the daughters to check out if they have a genetic disorder. So that is uh, reducing the load on NHS. I think we need to bless the NHS has got huge benefits. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, and and think, it's yeah. loaded with sick people. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, my mother, um, eighteen years ago, had a heart attack. Yes. And it, a lot of it was brought on by stress, um, something that happened in her life prior, uh, prior to her getting sick. But one of the, um, one of the things that she, she was advised to do was to get you know, in touch with her children, yeah. um, myself and my two sisters, and so we could actually go and get our, you know, go and get checked out by the doctor. And they were, actually, they were very, very accommodating uh, you know, and, and put us through. And we were, you know, all three of us were, were absolutely fine. But it's, um, it is, you know, we have a, we have a, a, an amazing national health service, yes. but it is overstretched. Yes, it's overstretched. Yeah. You know, and it's not the responsibility of the doctors and the nurses. Yeah, really, it's it's actually our responsibility yes. to make the right choices. So, don't you think we should be through this program? We are educating people a lot more. Yes, definitely. Uh, and definitely. I know it's going across mm. to a whole band of uh, you know, Carl Channel is actually airing to 104 countries. So somewhere along the line, even if one say half of these people are getting a message. Uh, through mm -hmm. the cook shows and the chat shows we do, I, I think we are passing in some signaling information. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the line, somebody will wake up and change their family lifestyle. Uh, you know, there was a time when uh, the, the amount of urea that was and pesticide that was used was costing India farmers 70 rupees per acre. They wow. have now accommodated to use cola in water, which is costing them 50 to 60 rupees less. Uh, they are actually using black cola instead of the urea and the pesticide for growth. What is happening with the urea of that cola is it is so sugar loaded mm. that the ants and the uh, little bugs inside cannot come out because of the soil gets so sticky and sweet. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, so uh, that's another way of them using that as a, a, a sort of a load uh, as a pesticide spray. Uh, which is uh, used very heavily on feed, and they cannot keep up with the demand of cola for farmers. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> that is how much it is. 
Renal <laughs> inefficiency obviously is a problem with kidneys if they cannot filter out, Helen. Uh, NAS has got amazing, uh, we keep coming back to NAS. Because, we do, don't we? Uh, we but, do. But then yeah. I get amazing results with NAS scanning. One, um, we actually find out, literally I say it's your blueprint of your body without having to be intervening too much. And when you look at their kidneys and you know that they are acidic and I check the saliva and the urine through my tests as well. Yeah. And that I drew through pregnancy, fertility as well. Mm -hmm. I do all these tests to check the urea, the uric acid of the both the couples. And then I know I'm going to be heading and I prepare them three months prior that they're going to be having a full term pregnancy and she would fall pregnant. Uh, and it's a huge problem, but the, I, I love the uh, the kidney detox in this one, EI6 and ED6, Yeah, it's yeah. a great one. Well, actually it's interesting because I've got a, a client who um, is absolutely loves Ness and her husband had, got, had problems with kidneys and, you know, it's more like, you know, I can scan him. So she said, okay, well, look, you know, let me, let me speak to him. And you, you know, he was, Mm. You know, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Yeah, uh, a bit I, negative. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I took some information from him and I scanned him. Mm. And it was in, it really interesting because the kidneys came up as a high priority on the scan. And I showed him and he was like, that's just incredible. How, how to put my hand on this thing, tell that, that it's my kidneys. I said, because that's, it's a priority in your body. And so that's something we need to, we really need to work with. Yes. And you know, he was getting really, you know, painful kidney stone. And we, we just tweaked some stuff in his diet, you know, he, and he, he took responsibility. You know, it, it came up on the scan and he took responsibility because actually that's what it was saying. And, you know, he had a choice. You either carry on doing what you're doing and, yes. and not get, get any better. Get to the surgery, Absolutely. point of surgery, yeah. Or you can change some things in your diet and your lifestyle yes. and your choices. Yes. And then yeah. you, you can, you'll reap the, 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 the benefits very quickly. Did you manage to convert him? Did I manage to convert his thoughts? Absolutely. He Good. It's amazing. Good. Because all those people who are negative first will sit back two feet and then they'll come back and say, I feel so good. Yeah. I have people who within 24 hours or within the first dose will say how things rapidly changed. Mm -hmm. um, and I for myself had to take chill one day when this, uh, the, the girl who was going to host the show with me arrived late at the <laughs> studio. <laughs> and she was, she was 35 minutes late by 10 minutes, my shoulders. Mm -hmm. I said, I can't deal with late attendance. That's one of my very bad habits. Yeah. Punctuality is so important to keep your stress levels low. So let's now move on to the good foods, which are the antioxidants, which are the red peppers, the plum tomatoes, which are going to be organic blueberries, yes. broccoli yeah. organic. Yes, absolutely. Yes. But not overcooked. No. Yeah. No. Juicing broccoli as well. Organic grapes as well. Uh, which the grapes coming from India flooded the big markets. We won't say them. Which ones? I refuse to touch them. You could see the mist on the grapes were so bad. Mm. That's lethal sprays on them. I would say just don't touch them. If you're buying grapes from some sources of Spain and Italy and South Africa, I love the fruit because one, it is my country down below uh, Africa. The fruit and vegetables mm. are not heavily sprayed. You can tell oh. the soils of South Africa are rich in copper, in potassium, in magnesium. Mm. It has got every mineral known on earth. But this There wasn't peace until Nelson Mandela fought for, yeah. you know, the apartheid policy. Uh, I think he did great justice there. Yeah. Uh, but great vegetables from South Africa. Avoid these uh, heavily sprayed grapes. Antioxidants obviously prevent free da radical damage. It yes. stops anti-aging. So you and I are not going to disclose our age, but we know <laughs> exactly <laughs> what we are doing right for ourselves. I had a, a young, wonderful young Hungarian couple who came to me over the weekend serious problems but she was a high candida patient she was having about four cups uh, glasses of coke a day dead food ah. she was fine when she came from hungary because the mother was cooking good nutritious food three years in this country she was now on the downhill health mm. and um, n they were so intrigued by ness uh, and the moment she took it um, that was on saturday yeah they came sunday morning he said there's just amazing change in her aura L gave her liberator to free her thought and pattern of thought and chill and esr emotional yeah. stress remedy worked with those first things three things score work with the mind first you're dealing if i just treat you and say okay you can go away but i have not seen you deep yeah. down inside what information you're carrying Sadly, Helen, with Asian women, uh, when a girl gets married in an Asian family, you marry the family. You just don't marry the husband. So your responsibilities, <laughs> it is that way. Your responsibilities are so much to appease the family as well. Mm. 
and that's where a lot of trauma and stress can come in with girls as well uh, so antioxidant foods are great uh, which help with the muscle tissue as well uh, cherries at least four times a week uh, a bowl of cherries good cherries mm -hmm. uh, I love the cherries in California are so beautiful because California is full of cherries um, obviously re research has found that having one bowl of cherry three times a day for people who have urea uric acid is the best way to detox but yes I also work with kidney detox on the Ayurveda drops that I we filter yeah. and uh, not forgetting NAS yeah. and then we need to give nutritional support as well in some supplement form as well which has to be supporting the kidneys having having undistilled and good amount of good distilled water and good yes. amount of water but avoiding tap water a yeah. lot of it yeah. isn't it um, and then having about uh, two glasses of uh, green tea mm -hmm. uh, cups of green tea a day celery juice is very important and parsley so towards the end of the show stay tuned I'm going to give you have a paper and re a pencil ready we're going to give you the juice that is very important um, for uh, urea and uric acid uh, but in this one there will be no sugar obviously renal inefficiency and the way the kidneys cannot filter the urea and uric acid the re reason why you end up having this problem yeah. Yeah. so if I give you a hoover for example a vacuum cleaner and the tube is full of dust do you think you can vacuum the carpet no <laughs> but why well, can't you very, it would probably spit it out rather than try and suck because it up, there's yeah. an overload yeah yeah the, the tube has not been uh, removed and emptied the bag has not been emptied yeah I try to explain the same thing in a simpler way that if we are having an overload in our system same mm -hmm. as a vacuum cleaner are we going to be able to detox that no yeah no, either it's going to it, spill yeah. or the carpet is not going to clean up so are we going to be carry on loading stuff keep on blaming the NHS and the doctors and mm. queuing up in the NHS hospitals causing a massive load but or are we going to try to educate ourselves that is what my program is totally this program at no point am I saying stop your allo allopathic drugs yeah. it's advice only mm -hmm. until a patient doesn't come to me Helen I don't uh, give anything over the phone just blindly uh, when they come uh, if there's need of scan I would immediately do that otherwise we will move on to the um, the foods lifestyle changes their work has to be addressed for what kind of environment do they work in um, they could be in a farm picking they could be spraying pesticides where I get a lot of people uh, they could be actually in the airport where they are um, taking a lot of the fuel from the airfield mm -hmm. uh, yeah. which is quite toxic uh, so all these things cause a huge problem um, chemotherapy and radiation can also raise urea and uric acid uh, for people who have uh, mm -hmm. cancer but obviously looking at uh, water how much water do you think we should consume in a day well the um, the, the government in average is saying two liters yeah I still push about 2.5 liters mm. um, there was a point do you remember when there was a mad cow disease uh, do you remember yes I do remember the mad cow and guess disease, what yeah. happened the cows were uh, uh, were put to their last strand and they were buried in Gloucestershire in a massive uh, uh, kind of a trough graveyard and what happened after a month uh, the household people in Gloucestershire started getting cloudy water the what the the as the the cows um, uh, oh, dead wow. bodies oh. carcasses were uh, uh, you know um, obviously it's hum it's a flash yeah uh, so as they were fermenting it was causing the seepage of their toxins through the water reserves of for human consumption oh. so guess what they did they got the um, soldiers back it's the army who does the dirty work yeah picked up all the cars carcasses incinerated them now mm -hmm. but put them out in the sea yeah. but then that sea water is oh. going to come back into our food chain yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah. yeah so yes we are going to say that fish in some moderation is fine but then comes in other fish like tuna is heavily uh, heavy very metals, heavy yeah. in heavy, heavy metals, metals yeah. exactly yeah. but why are our Asian young children are having too much tuna yeah. uh, and I keep saying avoid it it's not the fault of the fish it's the fish was in the water yeah. is what industrial pollution has done I know I know isn't it's, it? it's, so, it's so sad isn't it you know we say fish used to be the healthy option and now we're not so sure whether it's yeah it's unless you go for the wild Alaskan range mm. then you know it's better but I think food industry and industrial revolution and the person who invented fire should be put on fire because there was a time when they actually uh, when before Stone Age and industrialization when they dug up the old 
fossils of human beings body they found they had no degenerative diseases when the industrialization came and they went into the 18th century and they looked at graveyards they definitely had shown gout conditions mm. um, rheumatoid arthritic yeah, conditions yeah. and severe joint problems so I think cooking and overcooking food is a serious problem let's go on to the healthy juice I have a paper and pencil ready. Don't ring the telephone lines. My telephone number at the bottom keeps coming, 7 880 The healthy juice is going to be two organic carrots peeled, three celery sticks, two florets of organic broccoli, um, a handful of parsley, a handful curly parsley. It should not be the floppy parsley. If you If you are having this in the morning, then one green apple, not a red apple half an inch of ginger uh, to add. If you don't want ginger, then half a teaspoon of home ground pepper. This should be a morning juice regular because celery and parsley are going to be amazing for urea and uric acid and as a detox. But this is not a one week plan. No, no this, this, is, this is lifestyle choice. Yeah. Yeah, Why is, is it that people would have tea every day, every day and say to about juice, uh, how long do I have to carry on juicing? Yeah. I say for life.com. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have. Uh, my mm. mother used to do it for mm. us. We, my dad used to get a big sack of 50 kg and they had a Senio juicer. Now that juicer is going, mm, and I still <laughs> hold it. And my dad, a respected father, knows that I'm going to have my papaya in the morning. I'm going to have my juice. So he will actually at 4 o'clock yeah. in the morning uh, scrape that off. That, oh, our daughter is here. Let her have a break. She works ever so hard. So I, I get a bit spoiled when I get back home. Home. But a final word to our community listening at large because we've got thousands of people listening. How can they look after their body before we close down? I would say uh, it, um, to take take control, take action. Look, uh, you know, um, look at the colour of the the food that you're eating. You know, there's a there's the massive clue there. If it's sort of beige and brown, it's probably not um, very good in nutritious value. I like that, what you said, yeah. beige and brown. Yeah, yeah. If pretty it's, dead. You yeah. know, if it's sort of a, a rainbow of colours, you know, reds, green, oranges, yellows, blues. That really is like wholesome food, um, which is going to give your body the nourishment it needs. So, you know, just look at the colour of the food. That would yeah. be my top tip. Yeah, that's the powerful antioxidant food that Helen is saying. We'll be taking you to another show very soon, very shortly. We'll be talking about kidneys and kidney detox sometime soon. Stay tuned on this show next time, same time, Monday, 9.40 p.m. Take care of yourself. This wonderful human body has been given by God. Do the Nam Simran, but also do the seva of your own body. Respect your body, respect who you are, respect your uh, loved ones and your family, and respect the religion in which you are born. But don't forget that meditation is so important, but exercise is equally important. Summer is coming. Let's go on to a detox. Come to me for any health issues that you have on the whole broad spectrum. Not forgetting aqua punching, aqua pressure, um, nest scanning. Uh, colon detox is what I do is amazing looking at lifestyle patterns juice and diet and various kinds of massages stay tuned me and Helen on a healthy note we thank are you. going to say a very good evening and a good very evening. good evening good from, evening from Helen I need to thank her so much for coming and becoming so pro proactive in my show let me take you to another very uh, informative show uh, next Monday 9 40 p.m. Sari and Sastrikal and Kwaheri <laughs>